Hello, I am Dr. Anjali Gokand, a practicing pediatrician from Vasai, a suburb of Mumbai. Today, I am going to present chest pain, when to worry. Chest pain is a frightening symptom for adults, children and their families. Chest pain in adults is often myocardial infarction with a few patients having non-cardiac issues. However, in children, most often it's a non-cardiac condition causing chest pain. All patients will need to be treated, but those with serious or worrisome diseases will need urgent attention. Therefore, we have to make a clinical diagnosis based on symptoms and signs of the patients. In this talk today, I will present some clinical clues to help differentiate the benign and the serious causes of chest pain and the red flag signs for serious conditions. Now we know that chest pain can be caused by extrathoracic tissues like skin, muscle, bones, joint and also the breast tissue. Intrathoracic tissues, lung, heart, the esophagus and the blood vessels in the uh, thoracic region also can cause chest pain and the third is psychogenic pain. Let us um, see some features of benign chest pain. I will present a few cases to make my point clear. A 60 year old man complains of pain on the right side of the chest. It began a day or two earlier. It's burning in nature and of moderate to severe intensity. He can pinpoint exactly the location of the pain. There is no radiation to the arms, shoulder, neck or the back. There is no sweating, weakness or vomiting associated with these symptoms. And he has no other significant complaints. He has had chicken pox as a child. On examination, he is vitally stable and there are no lesions as yet. However, a day later, he breaks into a herpes zoster rash. This, friends, is neurogenic pain of herpes zoster and it can cause localized chest pain. A young school going boy complains of chest pain localized to the left side. He carries a heavy bag to school and tuitions. He can localize the pain with his finger. He is otherwise playful and on examination there are no significant findings except for mild tenderness. This is musculoskeletal pain. A similar pain can also occur after a fisty fight in school. This is pain due to trauma. A young adult doing weight training has chest pain. Chest pain came on suddenly when he was carrying a heavy weight and is localized to a particular area of the chest with no radiation. He is comfortable when walking and climbing stairs. He has no significant family or past history. This is a muscle spasm and inflammation because of trauma again causing chest pain. A 9 year old girl comes with chest pain which is bilateral and on examination you find that there is tender breast tissue. This is nostalgia due to hormonal changes of adolescence. An adolescent boy has chest pain along the sternal border. This pain increases when he moves his arms or takes a deep breath or coughs. He has no fever or other constitutional symptoms. Examination reveals tender, swollen, inflamed costochondral joints. This, friends, is pain of costochondritis. A 25-year-old lady has chest pain after a party. Pain is burning in nature, retrosternal, increases after eating and in the early mornings. There is no significant past or family history and examination, she is stable and has epigastric tenderness. This is gastritis with reflux esophagitis due to indiscriminate eating of course at the party. Panic attacks in adolescents can also present as chest pain. Anxiety and depression at times can cause chronic chest pain. Children could feign chest pain to avoid school. All these are psychogenic chest pain. In conclusion, we have seen that benign chest pain has the following features. The pain is localized. The patient can pinpoint where it is hurting. It is of mild to moderate intensity and there are no associated symptoms like radiation, 
sweating, weakness or vomiting. It does not affect the day-to-day -day activity. There is no significant family or past history and the patient is stable on examination. Now, let us see some features of serious illnesses causing chest pain. An adult is having acute, severe chest pain which feels like an elephant is sitting on the chest. The pain is radiating to his arms, shoulders, jaw, neck and back. It could be associated with sweating or sudden weakness. There is nausea, vomiting, giddiness or lightheadedness. He has an acute myocardial con uh, infarction, a very serious condition. The second is if there is chest pain after exercise. This indicates myocardial ischemia when the blood supply to the myocardium is insufficient. In adults, often angina due to ischemic heart disease and narrowed coronaries can cause this. In children, myocardial ischemia is seen with ventricular hypertrophy due to outlet obstruction. Here, the blood supply is insufficient for the increased demand of the hypertrophied muscles. Two, it is also seen with coronary malformations, either congenital or post Kawasaki disease. Three, ischemia can also occur with rhythm abnormalities like a ventricular tachycardia. Here, there is insufficient filling of the left ventricle in diastole and therefore there is ischemia. All these conditions can present with chest pain after exercise. Chest pain and syncope, some severe cardiac disease can present with chest pain and syncope. This also indicates severe myocardial ischemia. Another red flag sign is chest pain with fever. Fever indicates inflammation often due to infection. This could either indicate infection of the pleura or pleuroparenchyma in conditions like pleuritis or pneumonia with synemonic effusion. Please note that the lung parenchyma has no pain receptors, so just a pneumonia may not cause chest pain. However, a pneumonia if associated with a synemonic effusion will cause chest pain because the pleura has pain receptors. Pleural pain increases with deep breathing or coughing. Fever may also indicate pericarditis, myocarditis or myopericarditis. Pericardial pain is worse after lying down. Chest pain with breathlessness. A young child who had repeated cough now has chest pain with breathlessness. The child describes it as tightness of the chest. This symptom could mean a severe bronchospasm due to bronchial asthma. In an adult with severe sudden chest pain and breathlessness, it could be pulmonary embolism, which is a very serious condition. Pneumonia with synemonic effusion, like mentioned earlier, can also cause chest pain and breathlessness. Significant family history. History of death in young adults in a family could mean a genetic disorder like a cardiomyopathy or a rhythm, rhythm disorder. And in a patient, with such history and chest pain could indicate a severe or a serious underlying heart disease. Past history of a significant cardiac illness. A 12 year old girl collapsed on the basketball court and she was taken to the hospital and she was diagnosed with a tight aortic stenosis. She had a history of aortic valvotomy done in childhood. She was advised follow up which she did not comply with and now she had a restenosis. Similarly, a history of Kawasaki in the past with, of a child with chest pain who has now presented with discomfort would mean a thrombus in the aneurysm of the coronary artery. Think of sickling crisis. The coal belt of India has a high incident or, or incidence of sickle cell disease. Any child coming from here, for example, from Dahanu, who has acute severe chest pain could be having a sickling crisis, which is one of the complications of the disease, which is called acute chest syndrome. If a patient comes with abnormal chest finding, for example, if a tall, lanky boy comes with acute chest pain, look for signs of Marfan syndrome. This could be a warning feature of a underlying aortic dilatation or aortic aneurysm impending dissection. Also think of Erler-Danlos, Noonans or Turner syndrome 
if there are dysmorphic features because that would indicate underlying cardiac disease. If there are any signs on examination that would also mean there are some underlying cardiac condition. So the red flag signs are if there is any acute intense squeezing type of chest pain which is radiating to the neck, shoulder, back, this associated with sweating, lightheadedness or vomiting would mean myocardial infarction. Chest pain if it is associated with exercise, chest pain associated with syncope, chest pain associated with fever, with breathlessness, a family history of sudden death in young adults, chest pain with past history of a cardiac illness in patient, chest pain in a ch child with sickle cell disease. If there are any dysmorphic features or abnormal vital or systemic examination findings, these are all red flags of an underlying serious condition. I hope you have found this video useful. If you like it, please press the like and share button and also subscribe to this channel.